and then he, he, when he left the Lakers, he went to Memphis and immediately turned that uh, uh, floundering franchise into a successful perennial playoff team. So I would love to see Jerry West in there. But you know what? My take is this. When Magic came on board, he made it very clear he was the man. He was going to make the decisions. When it got down to the nitty-gritty, it was going to be his call, and he wanted to be in charge. That would not fly with Jerry West. Number one, Jerry West has more experience, knows more people. He knows everybody in the NBA. He's got all the phone numbers. He's had a good rapport. He, he is uh, you know, thought of extremely highly in NBA circles. And I don't think Magic wanted the idea of playing second fiddle to Jerry West because, let's face it, Jerry West has more insight, more knowledge, and more connections to make the right call. Uh, I don't think Magic wanted Jerry West there. I may be completely wrong, and I hope Rob Perlinka does a wonderful job. But it's just my take that I think it was more Magic not wanting Jerry than Jeannie hiring Rob Perlinka. I just don't think he wants to be the number one guy. There's not room for two people in one office. Uh, that's just my take. Well, I, I think, John, you know, what it really comes down to is getting people on the court, though. I mean, right now, I'll be honest, I... I couldn't tell you, I couldn't name the five starters of the Lakers. I, it, to me, you know, I, it's, if you had, if we had people being able to call in right now, I don't know if they could either. It's, no. it's, I have a better, I don't, a, I don't think Luke Walton does tonight. I, exactly. <laughs> I think you could, you could sit there and uh, I, you have a better chance of naming the five starters for UCLA or, you know, tonight than yeah. you do for, yeah. for the Lakers. So, you know, from that standpoint, it, it really comes down to bringing in the key players. You know, they failed. <laughs> You know, they, they, they brought in, you know, Howard and Nash and, I mean, these guys that, you know, chemistry, but whether it's Magic or, you know, West or whoever, they, it, it all comes down to the people on the court who play the game. You know, you start, I, you look at teams like, you know, San Antonio, they do yeah. it year in, That's year a model out. Franchise. You know, I mean, they're just, I'm amazed. You know, last night they, they win and they, they have, they're tied for the best record in the NBA and it's just, you know, start looking at models. Even the, you know, I, exactly. I, the other day I pick up the paper and I see the Celtics, you know, again, you know, they're, they're back in the, the fray and they, they've, you know, revitalized. Yeah, they had, a, they were down, but, you know, teams like that, the storied franchise need to, you know, they need to stick to their, stay with their plan. They weren't broken. And then somehow the Lakers got derailed. Well, Mitch, Mitch, Cup, Mitch Kupchak got them in, 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 in trouble this winter. I mean, I give Mitch a credit for making some good, draft selections but he signed those, those two guys uh luol dang and i can't pronounce it for 130 million dollars and neither one of them have they aren't in the later lakers future neither one of them are playing and i, I think somebody like jerry west could have put that 130 million dollars to better use for me the biggest thing is is that once the the franchise started going in the wrong direction it started going south i don't think Jeannie had a, a, a choice because jim had already said Look, you can get rid of me one, you know, after the project is over. Well, the project was over. The decisions were made. And I don't think you get rid of one without getting rid of the other. The package deal with Cupcheck and, and, yeah, and, and, right. and Jim Buss. And, and yeah. I think to, to go back to, to Jerry, who is definitely a great personnel guy, I think they wanted to move forward, even in San Antonio and in Boston, which is seen are a move towards analytical stuff, a very progressive look at how to evaluate mm -hmm. players and personnel. It's not just the, the eye test anymore. Mm -hmm. And so even though those legacy programs like San Antonio and Boston are, seem to just have a magic wand, they're doing it with a lot of hard you know, analytical work. And, and I think that that's where they wanted to go and that's what Palinka will bring. And so unfortunately, Jerry, West seems sort of, in that respect, maybe a, a dinosaur. And I, I don't know that even, did West even want the job? Would, I mean, would he have been I interested think he in the had, job? I think he might have had interest, but, um, and, and talking about the analytics, that's one thing Ma Magic mentioned. They are going to be very analytically uh, sa savvy. They're going to they're going to have a staff. You know, they're going to yeah, have. A, they know. have to be, they, they have especially to. with the cap space. It's just so convoluted. I don't think any layman knows <laughs> exactly what's going on but you can look at the it doesn't take a genius to look down the salaries for next year and know yeah. that that Mozgov and, and Lou Aldang are just dragging that down I mean we're talking about you know 113 million dollars is kind of the the luxury tax threshold and we're oh more than 30 million dollars owed to those guys yeah yeah it's 
Uh, a lot of, I mean, so many sports franchises are handcuffing themselves when they come to the, I think you, you, you see that in other sports. I mean, with Jose Batista and baseball, you know, wanted the, the multi, you know, million, you know, the multi-year deal for, you know, the big figures and, you know, they shied away from it. They just, you know, think it's a one-year deal. I think, you know, more, more and more teams with the, all the analytics and, and the stats that come out and, you know, they, they they dissect it. They need to do that. They just they you know the angels are still suffering. We yeah. talk you know yeah, yeah. yeah with the with the, you know, with the Lakers and with these salaries. I mean you know if if Rob Palenka can just come in and and you know it's not they don't restructure deals in the NBA the way they do in the NFL or you know in baseball. It's just right. it, it's complicated. Yeah, three if it's four years or longer they can restructure a deal, but. So, you know, Palinka's the guy to come in and, and, and really oversee that. He's, uh, he's got a great reputation for, for being a tough negotiator and for really making, you know, the numbers add up. And um, is Ma, are Mozgov and Dang, you know, the, the, everything that's wrong with the Lakers? Of course not. But no, no. it's a big start because those no. are huge contracts. I mean, Nick Young at this point, you saw this contract, you know, a big long contract they gave him. He seems like a bargain. Now at five million a year, exactly. as opposed to yeah, really. you know Ding and Mozgov, who have been dreadful and and really never fit into Luke no. Walton's scheme at all. No.